The Federal Reserve, Fed, is the central bank of the United States, and it has a dual mandate to promote maximum employment and price stability. The Fed uses monetary policy tools, such as setting the federal funds rate and buying or selling securities to influence the economy and inflation. The Fed also communicates its outlook and policy intentions through statements, projections, and press conferences. In this section, we will analyze the recent Fed statements and projections from September and December 2022 and how they reflect the Fed's assessment of the economic recovery, inflation, and risks from the pandemic. In September 2022, the Fed announced several decisions that signaled a more hawkish stance, meaning that it was more concerned about rising inflation and less supportive of stimulating the economy. The Fed raised its benchmark interest rate by 0.75 percentage point, the third consecutive increase of that size, and the fifth hike this year, to tame the hottest inflation in 40 years. The Fed also shared its economic projections, including the level of interest rate for year-end 2022 and beyond, and the inflation trend. The Fed projected that the federal funds rate would reach 4.4% by the end of 2022, up from 3.4% in June, and 4.6% by the end of 2023, up from 3.8% in June. The Fed also projected that inflation would be 5.4% in 2022, up from 5.2% in June, and 2.8% in 2023, up from 2.6% in June. The Fed attributed the higher inflation to transitory factors such as supply chain disruptions, labor shortages, and pent-up demand related to the pandemic. On September 29, the Fed announced that six of the nation's largest banks would participate in a pilot climate scenario analysis exercise to measure and manage climate-related financial risks. This was part of the Fed's efforts to incorporate climate change into its supervisory framework and to enhance its understanding of the potential implications of climate change for financial stability. In December 2022, the Fed announced another set of decisions that showed a further shift toward tightening monetary policy amid persistent inflation pressures and solid economic growth. The Fed decided to double the pace of tapering its asset purchases from $15 billion to $30 billion per month, meaning that it would end its quantitative easing program by March 2023 instead of June. The Fed also increased its expectations for rate hikes next year, with between two to three hikes for 2022, up from zero to one hike in September. The Fed projected that the federal funds rate would reach 5.1% by the end of 2022, up from 4.4% in September, and 4.1% by the end of 2023, down from 4.6% in September. The Fed also revised up its inflation forecasts for 2022 and 2023, projecting that inflation would be 5.6% in 2022, up from 5.4% in September, and 3.1% in 2023, up from 2.8% in September. The Fed's statements and projections in December reflected its recognition that inflation was more persistent and widespread than previously anticipated, and that it posed a threat to its price stability mandate and to public confidence. The Fed also acknowledged that the economy was growing at a robust pace despite the challenges posed by the pandemic and its variants. The Fed expressed its readiness to adjust its policy stance as appropriate to achieve its dual mandate. To summarize, the Fed's statements and projections from September and December 2022 showed a clear shift toward a more hawkish monetary policy stance in response to rising inflation and strong economic growth. The Fed raised its interest rate twice in September and signaled more hikes for next year. The Fed also accelerated its tapering of asset purchases and planned to end them by March. The Fed revised up its inflation forecasts for both years and attributed them to transitory factors related to the pandemic. 
The Fed also initiated a climate scenario analysis exercise for six large banks to assess their climate-related risks.